Y'all, end of the year, some of y'all are going, man, I was supposed to save money, but then I was stuck on stupid, I didn't do it, and then I was lazy, and we tried to tell y'all last year at this same time, Deborah back. <laughs> She's trying to help y'all 2017. I'm trying. All right, Deborah. Again, I mean, what? it's amazing to me what happened. People go, oh, man, oh, this happened, that happened. Uh, and your deal is trying to get, like, start small. Just start somewhere and be consistent. Start small and be consistent. But th what I know to be true is it's just overwhelming. And I would say that here it is, the Dow Jones is about to hit uh, 20 or the S&P is about to hit 20,000 and yet people are still feeling a, very uncertain and so what I wanted to talk about today Roland is what you do now to position yourself to prosper in 2017 right. and really the first thing is maximize your retirement plan contributions what a lot of folks don't know is that with your 401k you actually have up until December 31st to maximize that contribution you can put a maximum of 18,000 if you're over over 50, you can put an additional $6,000. Now that sounds like a lot, but do what you can. Because even with your IRA, for those of you who said maybe you didn't put the money away, you still have till April the 15th to put a maximum of $5,500. And if you're over 50, you can put another $1,000. But at the bottom line is, Check with your HR department. I'm amazed at the amount of folks who have a lot of benefits that they don't even take advantage of. For example, one of the things I'm guilty of is waiting till December the 30th or whatever to spend what, what we put in the flexible spending account. You know, where you go, eyeglass, you get your eyeglasses and that sort of thing. But what I also want to encourage people to do is to take a look at what you've done this year right so that you can adjust you know those contributions for next year because a lot of people are leaving money on the table or they forget that it's even coming out of their check. And part of the reason for that is everything's done electronically. You know, you look at your checking, your, uh, you, I don't even think people even look at their um, paycheck, their pay stubs anymore because it's all done electronically. No, I, ain't, I, I, don't, even, I don't even know what the thing looks like. I, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do paper. I, I, no, I don't do paper. Yeah. Well, well, you know, we don't, don't, you know what, Roland, we don't all have it like you. No, but I'm saying, no, what I'm saying is, I don't no, look at mine. no, 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 I said, I don't I'm looking at the stuff. Uh, you know what I'm what? saying is, it's paper. I'm, it's just like somebody asked me to write a check. I'm like, damn, what last time I wrote a check? I know. I don't. I, 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 you I know didn't what? know what a check was. That's I was a, like, yo, yeah. you seen the check? <laughs> and most people don't even electronically you know, get a pay stub because, you know, I, I've worked as a contractor where if you wanted to see the pay stub, you had to actually go into a separate website and, and into the payroll hey. side just and, to see your pay stub. And print it out. But here's what I want folks to know is you got money sitting in your house, okay? So if you were to look at through your closet, you know, this app, Tracy, says that the average person has about three grand sitting in their closet. And so one of the other things that you want to do is not... Three you can where? You can don't... Right. I end up, uh, uh, Come on. Well, you know you got plenty no, 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 of clothes. No, no, no. When you say three grand, so, what? So you got, you got probably technology sitting around that you, you're you not doing. I just saw a guy oh. sold $150, a uh, uh, printer for $150 that had been sitting in his office. Right. You have a lot of things that you can, or if you're going to donate to charity, make sure you get a valuation on what those goods cost. All right, also, okay. uh, but going into 2017, you said review your credit report. Review your credit report right now. Pull it. You can go to annualcreditreport.com and get a free one. You can do that literally from each of the different agencies because you want to look at A for accuracy, B for how many loans that you have outstanding, but you don't want to get depressed about it, right? So if you're, if you look at that credit report and you see all the loans that you have outstanding and you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm never getting out of debt. That takes me to my next tip. You've and you got that, 30 seconds. And that's really to create a vision board. So this is one of the things that we do with uh, our coaching students, Wealthy You, is to really put down there, you can see debt free is in my vision. Uh, the, and, and that's, you said people get overwhelmed, but the bottom line is keep your fears behind you, 
put your goals in front of you. This is one of the things I really encourage people to do every day, to have a financial vision board. And by the way, Come on, they Deborah, can go to DebraOwens.com, News One Now, and we're giving a Wealthy Vision uh, webinar. We'll show you how to do this. Just go sign up and you'll get an invitation. Oh, 30 seconds, she got almost a minute. <laughs> Kickstart your day at seven and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin, every weekday morning at seven on TV One.